Hello, folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. Hey, I'm working through a couple little things in X Lights today, and uh, I just come up with something I thought I'd share because it's such a simple addition that many people either don't know or aren't aware of how to activate this in X Lights, and it's a great little trick. Um, so. Uh, first of all, what I want to do is I'm going to uh, add a timing mark to this uh, new MP3 sequence that I created. And I'm right-clicking on the timing track, the first one, whenever I created. This is a brand new sequence. And uh, I'm going to add a new timing track. And if you have Audacity Vampire plugins, uh, those are on the download page for X Lights. If you don't have them yet, uh, I have a number of videos uh, online that can teach you. I'll try to link one of those in the description of this video so that you don't have to look for it. But suffice to say, this is the new way that you can insert an Audacity timing track um, using the Vampire plugin. And I'm going to uh, pick out the beats here. See how this says bars and beat tracker. I'm going to select this. So, uh, and I'm just going to go with the defaults and click OK. Now it's going to process the audio and it's going to find the beats in the, in the MP3. It'll do a pretty decent job of it. Uh, I will warn you that 3-4 timing, not so good. Uh, but uh, in most other cases, it does work very well. So, uh, with that being said, we have our beat track. Come true, all I want for Christmas. Okay, so it looks like it's got it on the beat pretty much there. See, there's a there's an area of a beat. You can see right there is the hit of a song, hit of a or hit of the song, hit a hit a hit. So, and those timing tracks are lining right up with that. So that tells me we got a good beat track. And uh, so this is what I really want to show you. So I'm going to go to the matrix here. I think this is the matrix, and I'm going to lay down the um, single strand effect, and that's this here. So the single strand effect usually is something people would look at for arches. Now in this case, this is a pretty fast song, and this being one beat, I would say it's probably, this is probably one beat here. So um, if I place the single strand effect down, uh, what I can do is I can just lay it there, and then if I want another one, I can go and I can copy this, copy, and I can select here, and I can paste, I can paste again, and I can paste again. Now that's what a lot of people will do is they'll they'll just do that and is you, is you. so just in just in within this beat area, um, I, I've been able to do that. Now what what's nice about the single strand effect is that you can do this repetitive motion thanks to the settings of the single strand effect. And I'm gonna lay that down here. And I'm going to stretch it out over a long period of time. Then I'm going to come over here and see, see how we only have it moving very slowly because we've told it to cycle one time through the effect during this duration of the sequence and or during the duration of the effect, that is. But what about if we gave it a value for all of these? Now, I, I, I counted two beats here as one beat. Uh, or two timing marks is one beat. What if I did the same thing down here? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So if we have fourteen, well, and we're we're counting every two of these as one, so half of fourteen would be seven. What if we did seven cycles? Now we can see that we're chasing. We're going left to right, and we're going right with the beat, it looks like. I don't want a lot for Christmas. So that looks pretty good, right? Well, what if you didn't want just this effect going on? What if you wanted one effect going here, and you wanted one iteration, but then you wanted it to go back and bounce back? So now you have this chase type where you can turn turn it from left to right. You also have other functionalities in X Lights. I'll go ahead and lay another one down using my shortcut key. Uh, you can also do the transformation. You can rotate 180 and you can use that instead of going through your chase type. So that's that's another function that you might want to know about. So now you've got your bounce back and forth. Don't care. Don't care about and yeah, that's pretty nice. But wouldn't it be nice if X Lights did it automatically to that number of beats? Well, if we come back over here and we say we're going to go seven iterations left, 
what if we do bounce from left to right? So this is a functionality in X lights. Now it should appear to bounce pretty good. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I now you want to slow it down a little bit. Take this number, divide it in half. So half of seven is 3.5. So now let's see what happens. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. So now you have this little bounce here. And uh, you've, you've kind of started understanding how great X lights can be with just laying down one effect. Now, what if you knew that you had to count these out and that was all fine and good? But what if you knew if you clicked on the actual cells, as long as your timing track is activated here, you clicked on the cell and you drug across and then you waited. Do you see that number 14C? That stands for the number of timing marks that have been uh, columns, not, not timing marks, but the columns that are being selected at the time. And it says R1 or 1R. If I go down, it says two rows are selected and three and four and so forth. So if you're really looking for a fast way to lay down a single strand effect. I have a shortcut key already. If I just want to go here and I say, okay, I'm going to go 12 single strand and half of 12 is six. Now I've just created a bounce in literally a couple seconds. So guys, that's your tips and tricks video for today. I want to thank you for stopping and watching the video. First of all, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe and click the bell notification for all the videos that we are putting out on uh, what seems to be a daily basis at this point. But we'll see. As I have free time, I like doing these videos and I probably will continue to do so. So thank you very much for joining us. Remember, visit us at Pixel Pro Display Blaze.com. We have an awesome sequence club where you get one free sequence each month with your membership as well as sequence club member discounts from our affiliate vendors. And as well, you also get a bunch of free preset effects each month. So thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you again soon in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and Sam, and every time it rains, it rains.